every movie when it's first cut together is always too long. Uh, the director falls in love with everything he shot and then has to make the, has to go through the painful process of deciding what scenes can come out so the movie will be at a more manageable length and also so the storytelling will be, will be better. Uh, when I first ran this movie, I realized, oh my goodness, it's so very long and it's going to be so hard to cut these scenes that I love because I loved the movie so much. So the scenes you're about to see are a bunch of deleted scenes I ultimately took out so the story would play better. The first of which takes place in the Universal Panagraph. I had two wonderful big scenes in the Panagraph that I shot and ultimately I decided the second scene played so well and had so much of the same information as the first one and was better storytelling, had much bigger scope. Um, and was so much more dramatic, I would use that to introduce the universal panograph. So this then is the first of uh, a bunch of deleted scenes. Enjoy. So you made some enhancements, did you? Well, let's see this baby cook. Watch this. Follow me. What if the elves feel as if they're being replaced by a machine? We have an eons old tradition of making toys by hand. I agree with you. Nobody can handcraft a hobby horse like an elf. What this machine can do is help relieve some of the pressure caused by the fast food industry. All those little action figures and toys, we can't keep up with the demand. What the machine allows us to do is concentrate on the things that we do best. Curtis. Great job. This is fabulous. Thank you, sir. Curtis! Back to work. You're stalling. If you don't tell Santa Claus right now, I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna, I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. This next deleted scene is actually part of a scene that is in the movie. I just realized that in the middle of it, I had this information that just made the scene too long and seemed to slow the pace of the scene down. And I really wanted it to be on story and not kind of drift to, to other elements that didn't have, didn't have anything to do with, uh, with the movie itself. So this is the Council of Legendary Figures and a little chunk that I decided to take out. I got it, I got it. How about this? The Molinator. I like that. Thank you, Santa. Can we vote right now on the Molinator? I would like to speak. Oh. Father Time has the floor. Mother Nature, you're a natural woman. Yeah, you make me <laughs> feel like one, baby. That's fine. I think there's something going on between those two. You do? Yeah. Really? Thanks, Easter Bunny. Thanks for burning that horrific image into my brain for all eternity. Moron. My pleasure. The next sequence you're going to see, which I deleted, was really hard to delete because we had so much fun doing the second part of it. Um, the first part is this walk down the stairs where you get some information from uh, the actor playing Neil, asking questions about what it's like in the North Pole. Uh, and the second section is Santa on five blind dates. On its own merit, a wonderful scene. Uh, we really enjoyed doing it. It was, I think, our third day of shooting, and we were very excited about it at the time. Ultimately, this too slowed down the pace of the movie. I needed to get back on story, and uh, really hard to cut, but very enjoyable to do. What's it like up there at the pole? Can you see a movie? Are there any good restaurants? Uh, are there any women at all? Sure. They're all three feet tall, pointy ears, average age. 650. Whoa, 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 check the attitude. Look, Scott, you've forgotten how to approach a date. You, you gotta be sweet, charming, sensitive. If you'll be naughty, I'll be, uh, nice. How wide is your chimney? I haven't spent time with a fully grown woman in seven years. Most of my close friends or elves. You don't sing, do you?
the next deleted scene you're about to see, uh, I felt really slowed the pace of the movie down. Uh, and in fact, there's so much information in this scene that is scattered throughout other scenes that are far more interesting and entertaining. I decided this was an easy lift and I took it out and it didn't in any way uh, hurt the storytelling. So enjoy this one. Carol, Carol? I don't know what happened, you know? <laughs> she grew on me. Uh, we grew on each other. There was growth. Well, that's great. I mean, you know, you found someone, and just in time. How'd she take it when you told her? Must have come as quite a shock. Well, actually, I didn't tell her. You didn't tell her you're Santa Claus? Well, it's not the kind of thing you tell a woman on the first date, you know, unless you want a restraining order. I, I gotta side with Scott on this one. I mean, it's not like telling a new girlfriend that you've got a cat or... Wear socks with sandals. That was a phase I was going through. It was just such a vivid memory. But you never forget. She never forgets. Never. All right. This is what you do. You take her out for a lovely dinner. Right. Nothing with the drive through Then you take her home, sit her down by a warm fire with a glass of eggnog, and then you perform some incredible feat of magic. Yeah, then I'll take the act to Vegas and we'll make millions. Look, Neil, I'm not a magician. And secondly, I'm out of magic. It's on zero. What? What does that mean? Is something going to happen to Christmas? When I looked at this next scene, I realized a better way to surprise both the audience and Charlie is to cut the top of this scene, start in the street with the kids throwing the snowballs, <clears throat> and then have them find out that Scott is indeed inside the house with Carol having a date. That way, we're surprised. The kids are surprised, and we all find out at the same time. If we start the scene with what you're about to see I deleted, we all already know. I had such a great time tonight, Scott. Just walking around, looking in storefront windows. I haven't done that in longer than I can remember. Thanks. My favorite part was a store window that had Santa's workshop in it. That looked like a pretty cool place, didn't it? I have so much kid in you. Is that good or bad? It's good. It's really good. I have a lot of kid in me. <laughs> the deleted scene you're about to see was, for me, very simply, the toughest scene in the movie for me to cut. Uh, we refer to it as the Braveheart scene because we kind of stole, in spirit, the speech that Mel Gibson makes in Braveheart to his soldiers. Here, Scott Calvin, a.k.a. Santa, is making it to his elves. Um, I loved shooting this. I love the faces of the elves as he made this speech, trying to regain their spirit and their faith in him. And again, ultimately, it was so much more exciting to go from the exit of the tooth fairy to running to save the day than stopping for this scene. I decided to cut this scene. Forgive me. It's really, really a wonderful scene, and, 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 and Santa's great in the scene, and the elves are so attentive, and you actually see their transition and their loss of faith become a big leap of faith. Uh, here it is. Hey! You're free! You know, it's not over. You know, I, I, all right, I owe you an apology. I had to go away for a while, and I wasn't here when you needed me most. And because of me, an evil has arisen that wants to steal Christmas from the children of the world. And I can see your faces. You're tired and, and, and scared. But you guys, remember, we are the keepers of Christmas. Together we few, we precious few, we, we're this band of brothers and sisters. We stand in defiance of this tyranny because, because you're free elves. And who wants to fight for that freedom? We're too short. Yeah, you may be small, but you have an opportunity to, to, to show our enemy that you may take our toys you may never take our spirit. You remember the deeds you do this day. You'll be household names in Elfton. Now who stands with me?
the last of the deleted scenes I'm going to show you today was also really hard for me to cut because it's the only chance I had to put Carol with my girl elves and have a wonderful moment between them. Um, it was really fun to create on the floor of the uh, elf village and uh, the toy soldiers are in it and Carol has a moment in which she rescues the girls elves from the, uh, the toy soldiers but ultimately again in the grand finale in which we're really cooking and the pace of that scene, battle scene, is really flying, everything ground to a halt during this scene. So ultimately, it was one of the last scenes I took out. Um, so here it is, enjoy. Stay right here, girls. Hello, soldiers. I want you to look into my eyes. What do you see? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, a bunch of our deleted scenes. Uh, the really kind of neat thing for all of you guys watching the DVD is you're the only people who've ever seen them. There's us who made them, and there's you who get to screen them on this DVD. Nobody else gets to see them that's seen the movie that uh, is not watching the DVD, so you're privileged. I'm glad to have shown them to you. I wish I could have put all the scenes in, but that makes the movie too long. But you get to see them here. Uh, thanks for playing. See ya.